Hello Glam Girls, I wasn't able to film an introduction because I was just filming a get ready with me video but this is basically like a smoky glittery cat eye and in the pictures that you're seeing here I had on some gold glitter um, that I applied after the look but in this picture it's just straight up the way I was wearing it after I film the tutorial. So I started out with my lavish palette from Anastasia and I'm using orange soda and sienna and I'm running that along the edges of my um, lids and also along the edge of that tape. I applied tape to give me that nice sharp cat eye line because when I'm doing my makeup for work I just like to be really quick and do whatever is the easiest for me. So. Now to do my cat eye, I'm using my angled brush from MAC and a gel liner. This is Rimmel's gel liner. And I'm basically doing just a thin, um, all, like a medium thickness line um, on my lid. And then I'm taking the 217 brush and I'm slightly blending the black just a little bit. And now I'm taking the 219, which is a pencil brush with the black color from the palette. And I'm gonna smudge that all along on top of that gel liner. And because it's a, it's a pencil brush, as you will swipe back and forth, it naturally just starts to smudge out the liner. So you get that faded cat eye effect. And then you have that sienna underneath. And then I'm gonna go back with the brush that has more of that sienna color and blend that on top. So basically, at this point, you're just gonna go back and forth until you get the smokiness and the blended effect that you want. And now to finish off the edges of the line, I just took a little more gel liner and I went back with the black eyeshadow and then blend again. So like I said, it's just back and forth, back and forth. And then once you take the tape off, you get that nice gradient. And now I'm just looking between both liners and seeing if they're even. And the other one was a little shorter, so I'm just going to take my gel liner and extend the line. And now make sure that the eyeshadow is blended and um, has the same gradient on both sides. So then you might have to add a little eyeshadow or take away a little eyeshadow just so that they're even. And then for the lid, I'm going in with my pencil brush and antique gold pigment from MAC, which is like a really pretty antique-y, uh, taupey, glittery color. And now I'm just doing mascara and lashes. And then I didn't fill in my brows or anything uh, special. I just wanted my brows to be really highlighted. So I'm using, this is actually a lip brush. I forgot the number of it from MAC. And my OCC concealer in Y0. And that's just going to really highlight the brow area. <clears throat> and now for highlighting and contouring. I'm using this Black Radiance concealer for my contouring. And this is the shade Dark. And then for my <laughs> contour selfie, for my highlight, I used um, Hard Candy Glamouflage in Medium, which is like my favorite concealer. And just blending all of that out with different brushes and my beauty sponges just to get the effect I wanted. And I will say that this um, concealer really, it looked really dark, but once it was blended, it blended out really softly. And naturally so it's nice but I wish it kept a little more of its pigment and now I'm just setting the under eye concealer with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in light with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and now I'm warming up my skin using MSF in dark deepest or deep dark with a big fluffy powder brush all over to bronze and then to contour I'm taking my 168 brush from MAC with Shadester which is a Pro contour uh, color from MAC Pro. So I'm taking that to further contour and then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle on the high point of my face. This is a Sigma highlighting brush and then I use Early Morning Mineralized Blush from MAC. I don't know where that clip is of me putting on my blush, but I'm just strongly highlighting and then I'm going to use a 239 brush with more of soft and gentle and use that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. 
and I don't know why this clip is so long. Okay, and then for my un my water lines, I'm using Small Dip from MAC because I want it to be nice and dark. Because when I extend my eye out, I need the bottom to be dark. It looks really cool. And then I just used whatever blending brush to just smudge the bottom and add mascara. And then for lips, I'm using MAC Riot House Lipstick. This is from the Kelly Osborne Collection with sugar rimmed dazzle glass on top and that was the final look and then at work um when i got to work i saw that we still had a bunch of the glitter from the holiday set so i went and put some gold glitter on top so the pictures that you saw at the beginning of the video had the gold glitter so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to stay glam Mwah.